What's up guys, it's Allison, and today I'm going to be sorting myself into a Harry Potter Hogwarts house. I've wanted to know which house I've been wanted, I was going to be in forever. I've tried a bunch of different sites, and then I discovered Pottermore. I've signed up, and let's get started. I'm going to read you off the questions and say what my answer is. I'm not sure how this video is going to go, or when it's going to be out, because I'm currently on the third book. Well, I may be done with the series by the time I post it, I'm not sure. Hold her out of order. Order has been restored. Alright, let's get started. The first question is, moon or stars? I've always liked the moon. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you take with you? Tabby cat, Siamese cat, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, tarny owl, I probably just said that wrong, screech owl, brown owl, Snowy Owl, I'm probably going to go with Snowy Owl, Barn Owl, Common Toad, Knacker Jack Toad, Dragon Toad, Pelican Toad, or Three Toad, Tree Toad. I want the Snowy Owl. If you could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds, the power of invisibility, super strength, speak to animals, or change the past. Oh, or change your appearance at will. I'm going to go with Read Minds. I think that sounds pretty cool. Hopefully it's as cool as I think it will be. Four boxes are placed in before you. Which do you try and open? Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. The small tortoise shell box, embellished with gold, inside which something small creature seems to be squeaking. That's kind of weird. The gleaming jet black box with the silver lock and key marked with the mysterious rune that you know to be as the mark of Merlin. The, the ordinate golden casket standing on claw feet whose indescription warns that both secret knowledge and unbelievable temptation lies within. Or the small pewter box, unassuming and plain, and a scratched message upon it that says, I only open for the worthy. Hmm. I want to save the creature. I'm going to go with that one. What if it's like a mouse? I don't want that. Yeah, and I chose an owl. That was probably not my best bet. Which road tempts you most? The wide, sunny, grassy lane? The narrow, dark, lit alley? The twisting path through trees? Or the cobbled street lined with ancient buildings? Hmm. Which one tempts me most? Like, do I have to choose? I want to say I'd go for one of the cool ones, but I don't want to die, so I'm going to go with the wide, sunny one. And that's where danger would probably be sunny or lurking. Um, which would you rather be? Envied, intimidated, trusted, praised, liked, or feared? I'm going to go with trusted. I always think trust is the best thing. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you, but smile. Ask stories about your adventures. Think of admiration with your achievements. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me when I'm alive that counts. I don't think I'm really going to care what people think after I'm dead because I'm dead. So, right or left? I'm going to go left. Ooh, I'm being sorted. Slytherin! I got Slytherin. Cool! I can buy Harry Potter shirts now. More about my house. More about my house. Fresh comment if you're Slytherin or whatever house you're in. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Gryffindor. You probably know that some of the some of Slytherin's most real members, including Severus Snake and Bellatrix Lestrange. Probably just said that wrong. Lestrange. But did you know that Merlin himself was Slytherin? Or according to legend, the ribbon of the first class order of Merlin is green to reflect his Hogwarts house. Ooh, that's cool. Congratulations, I'm perfect Gemma Farley and delighted to welcome you to the Slytherin house. Our emblem is the serpent of the wisest creatures of our house. Our colors are emerald green and silver. Our common room lies beneath the concealed entrance in the bottom of the dungeons. As you'll see, its windows will overlook the depths of the Hogwarts lake. We often see the giant squid swishing by and sometimes more interesting creatures. We like to feel that our hangout has an aura of mysterious and underwater shipwreck. That sounds cool. I want to go. Now there are a few things you should know about Slytherin, a few you should forget. Firstly, let's despise a few myths that you've heard about the Slytherin house. 
that we're all under the dark arts and will only talk to you if your great-grandfather was a famous wizard and rubbish like that. Well, you don't want to believe everything you hear from convening houses. I'm not denying that we've produced our fair share of our share of dark wizards, but we also have three other houses, and they don't like admitting it. And yes, we have traditionally tended to take on students who come from long lines of wizards and wishes, but nowadays you'll find plenty of people in the Southern House who have at least one muggle parent. Here's a little known fact about the other three houses that don't bring out much. Merlin was a Slytherin. Yes, Merlin himself, the most famous wizard in history, he learned all he knew in this very house. Do you want to follow in the footsteps of Merlin? Or would you rather sit back at an old desk that illustrates ex Hufflepuff Elegan Puppet, the inventor of the self soaping dishcloth? I didn't think so. What's a self soaping dishcloth? But that's enough about what we're not. Let's talk about. Let's talk about what we are, which is the coolest, edgiest house in school we play to win because we care about the honor of the traditions of Slytherin. We also get respect from our fellow students. Yes, some of that respect might be tinged with fear because of our dark reputation, but you know what? It can be fun having a reputation for walking on the wild side. Chuck out a few hints that you've got access to the whole library of curses and see whether anyone feels like nicking your pencil case. But we're not bad people. We're like our emblem, the snake. Sleek, powerful, and frequently misunderstood. For instance, we Slytherin look after our own, which is more important than you can say for Ravenclaw. Apart from being the biggest, biggest bunch of swats you've ever met, Ravenclaw are famous for clamoring each other over to give good marks. That's horrible! Whereas we Slytherins are brothers. The corridors of Hogwarts can throw up to surprises for the unwary. You'll be glad you got slurping by your side as you move around the school. As far as we're concerned, once you've become a snake, you're one of ours, one of the elite. Because you know what sl slather Slytherin looks into his students, the seeds of greatness? You've been chosen by this house because you've got potential to be great in the true sense of the world. Alright, you might see a couple of people hanging out around the common room. You might think they're not destined for anything special. Well, keep that to yourself. If the sorting hat put them here, there's something great about them, and don't you forget it. And talking of people who aren't destined for greatness, I haven't mentioned the Gryffindors. Now, a lot of people say that Slytherin, Slytherins and Gryffindors represent two sides of the same coin. Personally, I think Gryffindors are nothing more than one of you Slytherins. Mind you, some people say that Slather, Slytherin, and Godark Gryffindor prize the same kind of students, so perhaps they're more similar than we like to think. But that doesn't mean that we cozy up with the Gryffindors. Really? <laughs> they like beating us only slightly less than we like beating them. A few more things that you might need to know. Our house ghost is the Bloody Baron. Ooh, cool! If you get on the right side of him, he'll sometimes agree to frighten people for you. Just don't ask him how he got his blood stain. He doesn't like it. The password for the common room changes every fortnight. Keep an eye on the notice board. Never bring anyone from any other house in our common room or tell them our password. No outsider has ever entered it for more than seven centuries. That's a long time. Well, I think that's it for now. I'll be sure you like... I'm sure you'll like our dormitories. We sleep in ancient four-poster beds with green silk hangings and our bed spreads embroidered with silver thread. The medieval cave tapestries depicting the adventures of the famous Slytherins cover the walls, and the silver lanterns hang from the ceiling. You'll sleep well. It's very soothing, listening to the lake water lapping at the windows of the night. Oh, that's so cool. I got Slytherin. I know my house now. That's really cool. So you guys should definitely comment which house you're in below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!